Please come to Boston for the springtime I'm staying here with some friends and they've got lots of room You can sell your paintings on the sidewalk Buy a cafe where I hope to be working soon Please come to Boston, she said no, would you come home to me? That, of course, is the first verse of Please Come to Boston, that wonderful Dave Loggins tune, and I'm going to teach you how to play it. I'll show you the chords, the picking pattern, and then I'll play the first part of the song so you can play it with me. The words and the chords are in a link underneath this video, so you can download that right away and follow along with the lesson. Here are the chords. Oh, and by the way, I've got my capo on the second fret. So when I say D chord, actually with the capo it's an E chord. And that's for those of you who are playing with another instrument, because if you tell a piano player I'm playing a D chord now, they're going to play a D on the piano and it's going to sound really awful. So um, just a little aside there, if you want to know more about using a capo, I've got a video for that and I'll put a link underneath this video. So I think this is the key that Dave Loggins plays it in. At any rate, that's the key that I can play it in. So as you're learning the song, put your capo in the same place and then after you learn the song you can put the capo anywhere you want or you can simply take it off depending on uh, what's most comfortable for your singing voice. Alright, here are the chords. There's a D, a G, B minor. You could play a bar chord or you could play this version. There's an A, and there's an E minor. This song is a Travis Pick, and I'm going to show you with the far away view here, and then I'll show you a close-up in just a moment. So, what's most important on a Travis Pick is the rhythm. One, two, and three, and four, and. And sometimes that last note is a full beat instead of a half beat like I just demonstrated. And if all of that is gobbledygook to you, that's okay. If you listen to me play it and watch my hand, you'll still learn how to play it. So I'm going to teach you how to play it on a G chord. So you're playing the bass and the first string at the same time. Bass, three, two, four, one, three, two. Okay, so try that with me. Ready, and. Bass one, three, two, four, one, three, two. <laughs> Already I'm playing different strings there, but you get the idea. It's still that rhythm. So here's a close up of that. All right, so here is a Travis pick. I'm playing a G chord, and I've got the capo on the second fret. So I'll play it slowly first. Pluck the bass and the one at the same time. Then three, two, four, one, three, two. Play that with me. Ready, and bass. Three, two, four, one, three, two. Bass and one. Three, two, four, one, three, two, keep going. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit. I may hit slightly different strings, but it's still going to be that same rhythm. One, two, and three, and four, and here we go. So let's play Please Come to Boston. Play it along with me. The words and the chords to the entire song will be in a link underneath this video. So here we go. Ready and. Please come to Boston for the springtime. 
staying here with some friends and they've got lots of room. You can sell your paintings on the sidewalk. Buy a cafe where I hope to be working soon. Please come to Boston, she said no. Would you come home to me? And she said, hey rambling boy, why don't you settle down? Boston ain't your kind of town. There ain't no gold and there ain't nobody like me. I'm the number one fan of the man from Tennessee. Please come to Boston. Oh, wrong city. <laughs> Please come to Denver with the snowfall. Move up into the mountains so far that we can't be found. Through I love you echoes down the canyon. And then lie awake at night till they come back around. Please come to Denver, she said no. Boy, would you come home to me? Now this drifter's word goes round and round, and I doubt it's ever gonna stop. But of all the dreams I've lost or found, and all that I ain't got, I still need to cling to somebody I can sing to. And then there's another verse about going to LA. So I forgot to mention the picking pattern has to change when those half measures come around. They first happen in the first line of the chorus. And so in that case I'm playing bass three. So you can play those exact uh, strings or you can just play enough that uses up two beats. It doesn't really matter. Um, so like the first line of the chorus would sound like this. Rambling boy, why don't you settle down? Boston ain't your kind of town. See what I did there? I just played bass three to fill up the space there. So there you go. That's Please Come to Boston. And uh, the reason that I did this lesson is because one of you requested it. And I'm really happy about that because I really love this song. If there's a song that you'd like me to teach, you can put it in the comments below. Just know that my list of songs that I want to teach is really long, so it may take me a little while to get to your request. Please check out my other lessons. I have... Uh, almost 500, maybe over 500 by the time you see this, for beginning and intermediate guitar, mandolin, and ukulele. Check out my original books and music at jamieanderson.com. And please support me via Coffee or Patreon. You'll see links underneath this video. Thanks for tuning in.